Yo, it's good. This your boy Angie Two Times. It's your boy X, man. Yeah, man. Today we're gonna be reacting another one from the Fresh and Fit podcast. It's called I Don't Post Booty Pics Like Her. But before we get into it, make sure y'all like, make sure y'all share, and make sure y'all subscribe, man. Let's get into it, man. Hold on, how do you feel about a shorty posting them booty pics for the gram? My shorty or uh, shorty? Let's say us uh, shorty first. We'll get to the other. Okay. Hmm. What? Right. No, I was just saying. All right. Like a shorty? Just like, like a, a random like, shorty? Okay, I'll put it to you a different way. Let's say, you know, you're single, whatever, and then you see a girl, like, would that entice you to want to date her? Does it attract you? Oh, yeah. I mean, like, if I seen a girl who was posting booty pics. Would it make you want to talk Hold, hold to on, her? bro. Can I talk? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking shit, man. What's it called? If I seen a girl, nah, but like, what I mean. <laughs> if I seen a girl posting booty pics, I would definitely try to cuff it. Because I think um, if, if you're I, just gonna grab her butt, you no, fucking no, no, cuff it like cuff no, it. you're a cat. This is over. Production's over, like, man. Like, Wrap it up, man. Like like date her, you know? Because if she's doing um, if she's taking booty pics, I personally think that she just needs better guidance. And then once I start dating her, she won't post booty pics ever again. Oh, you'll be a fog. Psych me, I ain't dating no bitch no booty pics. That's the most. Nah, me. Let's get into it, man. Yeah, let's play a video. <laughs> niggas, in, niggas in the um, comments, biggest simp ever. <laughs> and and, and oh, wait, that's I something that I have thing. like <laughs> talked to my friends about. That it, as a OS simp. girl and as a <laughs> booty grammar, you do have to go out of your way to sound like you're not dumb because it's it's fair enough for people to assume that you are dumb and that you you're not very um. <laughs> Exactly, not even just this articulate, really but that you're not very, um, no, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, but intelligent, because you're not doing a very intelligent thing, and, and that's okay, you need to be able to acknowledge that. People just look at it different, like, I post, like, very different content on Instagram, like, I don't really post my booty that much, and, like, last weekend, I went to live, and I took, like, crazy twerking videos so with you don't, Nina. you don't post a lot of pictures you're asking yourself? I mean, I do, but it's not like Nina. I definitely have my face on Instagram. <laughs> But like you know what I mean? Like I posted a video of me twerking and like um I was perceived differently because I'm not used to posting that type of content on Instagram. Like people were like, you know, messaging Shame. me differently. So it's definitely like perceived as you post. You know what I mean? Like however you post you're gonna be perceived that way. I'm looking right now. God damn, this is perceived perception. I have my it's uh, not it's not just ass though. It's a lot of ass. Yeah, if you're posting a lot of butt and and twerking Everything's about your body. You're not. Well, just, Yo, Sully be a right. Who? Which one? The one in the middle. The one in the middle. Yeah. yeah Direct middle. Like, yeah, she was kind of getting in that ass. You know what I'm saying? That's and you got to. Sometimes these shorties be scared to check other shorties. They just go and fall in line. It's like, yo, if you know the shorty doing some bullshit, you need to call out on that. That's the thing, though, bro. Like, I feel like dudes will call out dudes. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, bro, you yeah, some fuck shit. Yeah, you, you really Funny. forcing it. But it's girls true. will be like, nah, girl, you pretty, you this, get your money, do this. <laughs> he be like, yo. But behind her back, she be like, this bitch ain't you Nah, it probably not even that too, but they be like, yo. I promise you. What's it called? Say the shorty, right? She doing the shaking the ass pictures, right? And you say, yo, she doing that to attract men. She be like, I know my friend, she's not doing that to attract men. But if another shorty was doing that, she's a hoe. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. All right. Shorty be, mm. you know what I'm saying? Mm what it's gonna be exactly okay, okay. Mm, i want to say i don't know i feel like regardless of what anyone posts you should you know come with to come to them with respect like okay. you can look at my gram yes i'm fire i post my body i do what i want i'm proud of myself but don't assume just because i post my body and post all that i'm not intelligent i don't deserve respect mm -hmm. like like be like oh yeah what do you do my model yeah but i do have credentials i went to college i have a degree I, listen, listen, that, listen, that's, 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 that's not going No, nah, I was just going to say, it's like, okay, it's not that we saying you dumb. It's the fact that it's just unnecessary. And then it's like, if you ask her, I guarantee you, if you ask her, like, okay, so if a dude was like, like he just started making like, yeah. he started making like little kid noises during mm -hmm. the day or some weird yeah. shit like that, right? He could have his degree, mm -hmm. nice whip, mm -hmm. Lam it could be a Lambo right outside. Mm -hmm. She's like, I don't know, he's weird. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Just off perception, she's gonna assume some things about him too. Yeah. 
So, um, so the thing, the fact that she feels like you shouldn't judge her based off what she does mm-hmm. is very contradictory because I feel like she immediately would judge a dude if he started acting weird in yeah. a way that she perceived to be weird. Okay? And then to add to that point, right? She's like, yeah. I do OnlyFans, blah, blah, whatever. I do that, but I went to college, right? You gotta have a crackhead on the corner of the street and he might have went to college as well. But what does he do right now? He's a crackhead. And what? how, how do you see him as? A crackhead. crackhead. You don't see him as a person that went to school. Nobody cares that he went to school because what he's doing right now is not something that he went to school for. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's a fact. And I feel like I feel like women primarily do this though, where like they'll do something and don't want you to judge them for it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Whereas anything a man does, we mm-hmm. have to judge it, we have to analyze it, yeah. we have to wonder why. Like, do you mm-hmm. hate yourself? Do you yeah. hate this? Yeah. Whatever. Did, did you have trauma? Mm-hmm. It goes into all of that with us. But mm-hmm. with y'all, we have to just accept it. Yeah. It's, it's what it is. Mm-hmm. She's be, she's being her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because like, imagine you like a nigga, right? A guy, whatever. It's like, yo, he need help with the bills all the time, right? Mm-hmm. He he can't be like he can't mask it like, but y'all got a four, I had a four point GPA in college and I graduated top of my class. I'm gonna be like, okay, you're smart, so use your smartness to make some more money, do something. <laughs> they don't care that you 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 like girls be like, I'm a stripper, but I went to college. Like so, you wasted your time, basically. Essentially, because <laughs> yeah, because think about this, right? Let's say. You was in, let's say a woman in school to be a nurse, right? Mm-hmm. And then in the meantime, she's because she's become a stripper to pay for nursing school, right? Mm-hmm. So like, does that take away from what she did? <laughs> does that automatically take away from what you did? I'm not a stripper. I'm just doing this for the moment. Only you still did it, you know. That's the thing, man. Y'all don't, yo, man. Like not all of y'all do this, man. But y'all don't be wanting to be held accountable, dog. Like yeah. for real, like mm-hmm. y'all be wanting. Y'all be wanting what we have or what you perceive for us to have. Mm-hmm. And then when we hold y'all to the same standard, y'all kind of fight back on it. Mm-hmm. You know? You have any pictures of your bachelor's degree on there? No, I actually don't. I don't. Stupid. Okay. <laughs> but regardless, I still, I'm still, you know, I'm still worthy of being respected because I am a human being. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. yeah. You're looking up her pictures? Um, I feel like I've got my whole life just like from elementary, middle school, high school. She just like being eyebrows. judged for the way that I mm. dressed. If I wore shorts, yeah, I if like I wore a tiny little crop top. And I feel yeah. like it It took me a while to really be confident within myself and being like, yo, like just it doesn't her matter how this guy talks to you, how this guy talks to you, and how this girl's opinion is about you. Like at the end of the day, I dress for me. I don't dress for you, you, and you. I dress for me. It's because I feel sexy. I feel confident. I'm happy with how I look. I look in the mirror every day and I'm like, yes, I feel good wearing this. You feel me? So it's like, yeah, dress the way you want to be addressed. But still at the end of the day, like the guy said in the video, like she said, you just contradict everyone yourself, should be approached bro. with respect. Because at the end of the day, you don't know what they have going on in their personal lives. All because I'm dressed like this. Like she said, she has a college degree. You feel me? Like mm-hmm. you don't know what I got in my personal life. So what mm-hmm. makes you think that I'm this, this dunce, this, this, this unintelligent person? This just this whore, basically. Like okay, I got you right. Let's say, Shorty go on a date with a dude, right? Mm-hmm. Actually, no. I'll give you this. I'll give you the. Sh- I, I, I I put it for the girls first, right? Let's say no for the guys first, right? Let's say a dude goes on the sh- on a date with a girl. And she reveals to him, yeah, like, I, I had a train ran on me and shit like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just so you know, just so it's no mm-hmm. surprise if it ever comes up. Mm-hmm. Do you think he would look at her differently? Probably, yeah. Okay. Most likely. Fair Most enough, right? Most likely that would happen if he was... Fair enough, right? We would do that. Most men, we would look at you a little differently. Mm-hmm. Switch it around. Let's say a heterosexual woman, heterosexual man, on a date, right? He tell her... Yo, I used to do gay porn back in the day and shit. Mm-hmm. Like I don't, you know, I done all types of stuff with dudes or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. Do you think that she, her outlook on him as a future husband or bo- uh, future boyfriend and husband care provider, you think that she would, um, that would affect her outlook on that? Unless she's like, unless she is like super cool with the LGBTQ. I'm talking about majority, majority here. Oh no, they not doing. 
Cause they're gonna be worried about who he hanging out with niggas, you know what I'm saying? Oh, he, he used to he used to slap booty, you know what I'm saying? So maybe he smacking his booty right now, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? He used to slap booty. <laughs> Get a little peanut butter, you know what I'm saying? So maybe. But, still, but I'm saying, fair or not, just just let the girl that was that had the train run, fair or not. Yeah, you gonna be judged for what you did exactly. in the past. Yeah. So she acting like or acting like it didn't happen and hope it never comes up. Yeah. She acting like yo, Nick, like they don't even understand that I got this going for me, this going for me, for this going. Nobody cares what you have going Unless for. You it's what you doing now. You can have a t-shirt saying, I have my bachelor's, and you can wear it every day. Mm-hmm. Soon as you tell me, as soon as I see your Instagram, I'm going to be like, mm. that's, how, that's how she rocking? Yeah. That's how giving it up? Because, like, bro, like, bro, everybody, like, almost everybody went to college that's walking, that's above everybody. 20. I think like, everybody I know that's around my age that I grew up with has gone to college. At least some type of college. Been there at one point. Been there at least a semester, yeah. at least. Yeah. It's like, bro, there's nothing crazy extraordinary mm-hmm. I'm saying, oh, I'm okay. body. just real quick all I'm saying is we all make our judgments fair or not we all make our judgments right and you have to be able to live with the consequences of things you've done mm-hmm. whether it affects you negatively or positively you have to live with it yeah that's the game shorty Oh, exactly. yeah. so like it took me a while to be confident right. with my body in and of itself because I used to get made fun of for being too skinny, being too tall, being too this, being too that. So it's like I'm positive again, right? What about you posting your body made you feel more confident? Likes, comments, followers. You know what I'm saying? So validation. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, validation. Because if you didn't get validation, you wouldn't feel more confident in your body. But is it good validation? Because imagine, it, wait, wait, imagine is it the, good validation though. Is, I mean, it, is it fair validation? I mean, to I mean, you gotta see who. Who values the validation? You know what I'm saying? She obviously values it, so it's good validation for her. For other people, but that for, might be a bad. But for thing. her, but for long, for long term, is that necessarily a good thing for her to have validation from people on the internet that be that would pay a hundred dollars to sniff her feet, nigga? I mean, for her, yes, right. But it's gonna be detrimental no, to no, her. No, all I'm saying is long term. That's all I'm speaking about. I think for long term, for her, it will work, right? Okay. But I think it will be detrimental to her. In the future, when those same people don't like what she's doing no more. You know what I'm saying? Where they don't really care about it no more. Now she's like, I used to get all these likes. I used to get all, all these followers. Now it's kind of dwindling. And now I'm feeling less confident about myself because now I don't get the validation. Now you let the internet give you your value. Mm-hmm. Well, what they determine to be your value. Mm-hmm. Not you. Not you giving you your own value. Mm-hmm. You let the internet give you your value. And that's like what we kind of talk about where we be like, yo... There was shorties in high school and stuff like that. You could have had before the internet. You know what I'm saying? And now they have the internet kind of boosting their confidence so yeah, much. They're look your way. Now they're not even going to give you a chance. They might have actually really liked you. And now the internet come around they have no mm-hmm. interest in you because there's so much other people. There's so much more guys that have way more things than you have. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Maybe they're more attractive to her than mm-hmm. you yeah. are to her exactly. or whatever. But, like, oh, another thing, I want to make a point, right? So, the same dudes that be simping over her and shit like that, right? Mm-hmm. Let her let her show a picture where she's gained more weight. Mm-hmm. Um, her face get a little bloated. Um, mm-hmm. Maybe she get some gray hair. Mm-hmm. Those same dudes still going to be like, I love you, girl. You the best. Da, 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 da. You, know, you look a little different. And that's when... Uh, or they move on to another bitch that they like now. Yeah. I don't know. Like, it took me a while to really feel beautiful in the clothes I wear to this day, even if I've been wearing them for a while. So it's like, it. I, I don't mm-hmm. care. Approach me with respect no matter mm-hmm. what I have on. Whether right. I have sweatpants, yeah. whether I have on a, a mini skirt, it doesn't matter. Okay, so I, first I you want to tackle this. Yeah, but so. There's a reason why dress codes exist. Mm-hmm. Okay. There's a dr- reason why you wear certain attire for different occasions. Because right. in the world that we live in, we are just superficial beings. So, and first impressions matter, so you do have to so, be able to... I'll say this, right? Cause- Perception is reality. So, I understand how you guys feel about it, but the reality is, if you dress a certain type of way, I'm going to judge you off of that, off rip. And no matter how you want to figure a phrase it or real quick just how a woman ask a woman when you see a man and um, you're determining whether or not you like him what do you judge him by what they say sneakers mm-hmm. they fit 
mm-hmm. how you smell, mm-hmm. how you smile, mm-hmm. how you talk. Yeah. All of that immediately from the first time you talk to her, they judging you off. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's be real. Or like twist it up. If someone looks at you for the first time, they're judging you right there and then. Even so, if it's the place that you're at. Doesn't matter. Think about this, right? Because if you're on a yacht, you're gonna obviously be wearing a bikini. Yeah, you judge somebody for the first time you're you're in a bikini, right? If you're on a yacht, you're a girl. What does people think? Facts. It may not even be you. You might be an angel. But if you're on a yacht and you're a chick, they automatically think. Exactly. So, I understand how you guys feel about it. It shouldn't be that way. But the world we live in right now, they gonna judge you off rip. I don't feel like every guy perceives it that way, though. Yeah, and what if I own this yacht? Well, what if I put the four bands down for well, this yacht? The majority, the majority <laughs> will judge you. A minority yeah. may not, the majority will judge you. So, in that respect, if you go about post pictures like that, that's what you you know, I want to smash. Mm-hmm. What's good? Or they'll play a game just to smash. So my thing is, look, I understand you want to show your body, you work hard for it, that's 100% cool, you, you, deserve, you deserve that right. But just know, with those posts and with that, that look, you're going to get that attention as well. So mm-hmm. if, you're, if you're cool with that attention, Post whatever you want, but if you're gonna if you're gonna like complain about it, then that's on you. Right. Yeah, man. I was like, I don't post booty pics like her, fresh and fit. Let us know what y'all think about that. 